Hi! In this video, I will show you how to run Hunt and Kill preset using Spooky2 Sample Digitizer and Spooky2 Remote. This preset begins with a short bell feedback scan. The heats are then run on an allocated generator. In the subsequent scan and run cycles, the previous heats are reanalyzed. Pathogens which are mutated are found and hit again. It does not matter how far the pathogens run, they will be found, and they will become targets. This preset keeps refining the first scan results and runs automatically until it is manually stopped or no hits are detected. This is Generator X, Sample Digitizer, Replacement Slides, Spooky2 Remote, Spooky2 Boost, Power Adapter, and USB Cable. First, connect Spooky2 Generator to a computer using USB Cable. Then, connect the power adapter to the generator. OK, now we can place the liquid biological sample on one slide. Ensure the sample is placed in the black capital Lee. Place the other slide on top. Please make sure the two capitals are facing each other. Clip the slides into the digitizer. Now we can connect Spooky2 sample digitizer to the Alt1 port of G1 or G2. Here we connect it to G1. After that, we can connect Spooky2 boost to the Alt1 and Alt2 output of the generator. Next, connect Spooky2 remote to the BN port. Then, short press the power button to turn on GX. After connection, you can launch the Spooky2 software. Here, we connect sample digitizer to G1 for biofeedback scan, and Spooky2 remote to G2 for the following scan results running. It is important to make a note which port numbers correspond G1 and G2 before running biofeedback. Here G1 is port 4 and G2 is port 5. First, we need to set for G2 to run scan results. Go to Presets tab, choose Shell Presets, Remote, Killing, RJW. Go to Programs tab and ensure all repeat settings are set to 1. Zero entered in repeat chain box means the scan results will be looped indefinitely, and the software will not step into the second run of biofeedback scan anymore. Then go to Control tab, tick Override Generator, and click Port 5. Second, we need to set G1 to do biofeedback scan. Go to Presets tab. Choose Biofeedback, Sample Digitizer, Hunt and Q SDJW preset. Then go to Control tab, tick Override Generator, and click Port 4. Then go to After Scan panel, and ensure Run Hits and Continue Refining Hits are ticked. As we run frequency hits on G2, we can enter 5 here, 
the port number of the generator, which runs bell feedback scan results. We want to perform twice bell feedback scans and results running. So we enter 2 in this box. You can also enter 0 to repeat continuously. The preset will not stop until there is no frequency heat found. OK, now you can click Scan to start. After the bell feedback scan, you can see there are 10 frequency heats. Now the software will run the results on G2 automatically. Because we enter 2 here, the software will start the second run of bell feedback scan now. It will reanalyze the previous heats and refine the first scan results. Thanks for watching this video.